Ciao, my name is Max and welcome back. This is Sound Design Sundays. Today we're going to be doing some paper bases. This is all I know because I'm in the middle of moving right now. I have no idea how to do that. I know more or less the idea behind the technique. Basically, we need to um, take a sine wave, add some noise, uh, and then we have to saturate the crap out of it. Boom, right there. And now if I play that, um, maybe in some low octave. Uh, yeah, but this sound is very, is very generic right now. Maybe we try with the operator. Perhaps that will be a better option for us. You know what? Let's do some FM synthesis here. Yeah, okay, that's fine. I'm liking that. Let's make another shape. I just wanna go like that, like kind of crazy with this. I think that could work. Yeah, let's create like a long, long note here. I'm gonna have uh, something like nine bars probably. F, F zero. Let's stretch that. And now I'm going just to go shenanigans with some automations and we're going to be automating these two knobs, all right? So let's create another automation line for that and another automation line for that. A few moments later. That is actually something. Let's add some noise. Actually, this is some serum noise, I think. This is it. Yeah, that's probably some serum noise. Control G for grouping. And now we're going to saturate. Maybe some flanger. I like flanging. Okay, let's group that. Add another chain. And we're going to put some chorus. Yeah, why not? Reverb. Um, I can work with that. Just some. Let's add just a sign now. Let's take our saturator. Let's actually first do some OTT in it, um, like that. Some EQing, maybe before OTT as well. Uh, lower that down. Let's secure out the bass from here. Yep. Maybe the noise isn't right. I don't understand. Yeah, something like that. A few moments later. So we had this one. Uh, wait. Yeah. And I exported it to audio and I created this little um, bit here, which is kind of cool. Um, I made it like in half an hour. And so basically I just took that sample that we created and I I pitched it down a little bit, uh, cut it a little bit just to make some movement, some rhythm. And I just added these two parts. And this one as well, which is actually just some sub bass and the tail of the reverb of our previous sample. 
And yeah, that's the beat. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. I hope you did learn something. I promise you the next time, the next week, I will post my virtual ride Yoinks video. I did make it this time because I'm working on a Max for Live device for all of you guys. I want to test it out for you to all to be able to use. And yeah, see you next time and always stay inspired. Peace.